or they say, I could never grow a bunch of bananas like this. I have a brown thumb. Where you been sticking your thumb? Today, I'm gonna show you how to plant your own mini pineapple grove. Now, I don't know how much space you have, but you do not need a backyard to be a backyard gardener. People do it on their balconies. People do it on their patios. People even do it in their window sills for the whole neighborhood to see. So let's pretend this shed behind me here is a little apartment, a little townhouse, something like that. And we've got this little space, this little area, either out in the front or out back. This is all the space we need to plant our tiny pineapple grove. This is the kind of project that you can do as complicated or as simple as you want. Do you have any other skills that can augment this project? For example, maybe you're a, a painter and you could get yourself a white pot and paint some designs on it or maybe glue some mosaic pieces or something like that. A very good friend of mine is a, is a welder and he took these parts from an old VW engine, an old shovel, two big giant nuts, a pair of pliers, made this little bird. I'm gonna use that in the garden. Now me, once I kind of came up with my vision, I just started walking around the backyard, walking around the garage, finding things. And I found this old bench that I don't really use anymore. I just made it out of scrap lumber a few years ago. I have this little piece of wood here that's been sitting around. I got these two milk carts that are kind of beat up and ratty. I thought to myself, maybe I can make some little tables or some little steps out of those and just cover them with a, with a simple tablecloth or maybe a, a towel. Before I plant anything, I just kind of want to lay things out. Here's a little test fit. Let's see how it looks. I got a spot for one pineapple in the corner, one pineapple here in the middle, another pineapple there in the corner, pots to grow some other stuff. I think we're gonna grow some garlic here in this square pot. We have our planter box hanging from the wall in our hanging pot. Now me, I have a commercial growing operation here, right? So I get topsoil and potting soil and stuff by the, by the truckload, but all you really need is just generic garden soil. So I want you to go when you get your pots, pick up some garden soil, and that's what you're gonna fill your pots with. And speaking of the pots, my three pots here for the pineapple, you notice they're pretty big. They need to have a pretty wide diameter. And let me show you why. Look how big a pineapple plant grows. This is what you're gonna be growing. Growing pineapple is very, very simple. And I'm gonna show you two methods how to put them in the pot. The first, you need a knife. You cut the pineapple just like you'd prepare it if you were, if you were cutting it to eat. So you go down about a half inch just cut straight through and you're left with this stalk and this little bit of meat. You take it over to your pot and right here we have our first planted pineapple. The second technique I'm gonna ask the cameraman to come in close here. Come on in close, cameraman. You take the pineapple in one hand, the stalk in another, and you just kind of twist it off like this. And you wind up with this little piece, this little bump that's twisted off. You can peel some of these bottom, you see they're like, they're not green. You can peel some of those off. You take that and you stick it in water. Just like if you've ever done that toothpick trick to germinate an avocado seed. We do the same thing with a pineapple. And look what happens. I started this one, gosh, a long time ago, and it grew a root system sitting in a windowsill in a cup of water. Let's go put this sucker in. So now since this guy has roots, I'm gonna dig down a little bit for it, make a little hole. Gently place the roots in and fill around. Now we have our second pineapple planted. And between you and me, you really don't have to put this thing in a cup of water for a month and grow roots. 
you can take it as is, walk over to your pot, and boom. We now have three planted pineapples in our mini pineapple grove. Now that we got the pineapple planted, we're gonna move on to garlic. And I'm gonna ask the cameraman, Tommy, cameraman's name, Tommy. Tommy, why are we gonna plant garlic along with our pineapple? Um, it's for a marinade for the pineapple to cook it on the grill. Makes a delicious recipe, right? Yep. But back to the garden. I want you to peel off a few nice sized cloves and the number of cloves you pick depends on the size of your pot. Mine, I think, can fit about four. You want to leave the paper on. And just like we talked about earlier, whenever you plant stuff, you have to give it space. So we're going to give two inches between each of these. Now you'll see each clove has this little sort of belly button looking area and a pointy area. We plant our cloves pointy side up and all you have to do is push it in with your finger just a little bit below the surface. And in a week, it'll look like this. You see the, the pineapples and the garlic, you can keep them going indoors. You can grow this year round. So when it's warm outside, keep your little grove outside. As Soon as it starts to get cold, bring them in. You can grow your pineapples in your living room, in your kitchen, if you have a sunroom. And the garlic, you can put that on the windowsill just behind your sink and grow garlic year round on your windowsill. But the other stuff, maybe you wanna grow it seasonally. Well, all these garden centers have huge shelves with all kinds of stuff. Like, what do we got here, Tommy? Um, heirloom tomato. So we got a tomato plant. I'm asking Tommy, because I don't have my glasses on, although I knew this was a tomato. What's this right here? Sweet pepper. Okay. And here's the best part. They already have the plants started and growing for you. And on the back of the little tag, there's usually instructions or maybe instructions somewhere on the pot. So now I'm just kind of visualizing the way this stuff is gonna grow. So this is a tomato plant, right? Tomato plants want to grow up and out and they're kind of really spidery. So I'm gonna put it here in this planter. And then later what I'll be able to do is come in with bamboo and give it a little trellis to climb on. And then I like to just cut a little slice in the pot like that. And it makes it very easy for me to extract the plant kind of intact. And I take it, put it right in the hole I made. So now we have our tomato in the potter. You take your little tag and look on the back. There's instructions how to care for it. Now you've labeled your plant and you have your instructions. So there it is. We just planted a garden in the amount of space equivalent to a small patio or a small balcony. We didn't dig any holes. We used all the space, right? The ground, the walls, we hung stuff from the eaves. Now here's the reason I chose to make a mini pineapple grove, because all of you can grow these pineapples. You don't have to live in a tropical climate. Keep them outside in the summer as long as it's warm, and when it starts to get cold, bring them in. Put one in your living room, one in your kitchen, one in your kid's bedroom, I don't care. As long as it's gonna get some light and you keep up with the watering, you're gonna do fine. Now in about 15 to 24 months, you'll get a piece of fruit off of your pineapple tree which means that you may take it indoors for the winter, out for the summer, and back indoors for the winter. This is a long-term commitment. But eventually, after about a year and a half, you start to get a piece of fruit. You start to get fruit growing. And you know it's time to pick when the fruit turns gold. So you just come out every couple of days and look at it, and you'll, you'll see sections of it getting gold. But if you just contrast the colors there, when this turns this color, this guy's ready to pick. So all you gotta do is follow the instructions, right Tommy? Yep. You'll get pineapples, you'll get garlic, and you'll get whatever grows from the plants you bought at the garden center. The one thing you won't be able to grow yourself is this really cool Sleepy Lizard t-shirt or this Sleepy Lizard sticker. And if you like this video and you wanna support me and get yourself a t-shirt or a sticker, Go to guacfarm.com, G-U-A-C-F-A-R-M.com. And while you guys go to guacfarm.com, me and Tommy are going to finish cutting up those pineapples. 
Yep. Make our marinade from the garlic and have ourselves a dinner. Excited. And I'll see you on the next video. Oh, I got it. I got it.